Hey everyone out there, I want to do a video to follow up on all the crazy things that is happening in Denmark right now. Uh, many people ask me, what is happening Tom? We are praying for you. We have seen the last videos and uh, you're going through a big persecution in Denmark and what is happening in Europe and all of that. And many, many things is happening. The reason I've not done a video the last 10 days about this is not because nothing have happened. It's, it's gone even crazier than I expected. And we have been on news, I've been on news, I think four times or five times the last week. I'm in the newspaper, I saw on the news yesterday again. And everyone is talking about it and it is very, very special. It's hard, it's crazy. I'm in America right now and I also want to talk about that. Um, let's start. Uh, a week ago, I think it's uh, a week ago, we were on the news again. Suddenly, we were on the news. And this is from the biggest TV station in Denmark. Uh, where in the seven o'clock news they suddenly talked about it and they said the religious uh, movement the last reformation with Torben Sønergaard have got in focus one more time and then they talk about how there was people out praying for sick people at a hospital and here they are and what happened is that there was some students uh, from the Luke 10 school who was in a city evangelized and some people got the idea, let's go outside that hospital and pray for people. And there they talk with people about Jesus and pray for people like we often do. Tell about Jesus and if they want prayer, then prayer for people. But what happened because of all the media focus, somebody took a picture of them, contacted the news, and suddenly it was a big thing on the news. Again, different news station. And people who got into you, they sound like, oh, those people was coming and saying to me that if I believe in their religion, uh, I, I should drop my medicine and so on. And, and the way they say it is have never been the way people evangelize. It's not how we do it or the people who are out there do it. But suddenly it became a big thing in the news and they talked about it in the news and showed a lot of things there. And it just shows how crazy it is. I've been evangelized out on the street in Denmark for 18 years. In 18 years, I've been out talking with people about Jesus. In 18 years, I've never experienced any issue. But suddenly, because of all the media focus there is right now, when people go out on the street, like here, suddenly it's on the news and everyone is talking about it. And and, and then I didn't know they were out there on the street. So the journalist calls, contact me and I say, I have nothing to do with it. I don't, I don't know what it is. But then they found a picture later where they from the picture recognize somebody from some of my videos who was on our school and then they make a big thing out of it like hey Tom he said he knew nothing about it but his people from his school and 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 then it, they put it up like I was sending people out with one goal to go to those people at the hospital and, and this is not what we do we just encourage people to go out and tell about Jesus and pray for people where you meet them but just to say, everything is getting crazy right now in Denmark. That was one thing. Then I was on the news yesterday again. And there I was in the news about the Jesus, Jesus Center is closing and I'm moving to America. And suddenly I was reading in the news on Danish TV, I was moving to America and the center is closing. And it just, I was like, I, sorry, I, I haven't time to really talk with people about it. I haven't time to really pray. I haven't had time to really what is happening in America and suddenly I read it on the news. So it's, it's crazy what is happening. I've never experienced anything like this before and our friends have never experienced anything like this before. So what is the truth here? I am in America right now and that is the truth. Uh, we actually went to America to... Uh, I, I have a kickstart in Dallas next week. And we have our event in Canada in April. And we, were, we, we then thought about going home and then come here later. And then out of that, see what happened. But we feel because of all the persecution in Denmark and many things, we need to, we, we are not going home right now. We are staying in America right now and, and, and see what is happening. Um, it is going to be crazy in Denmark and there is things I cannot 
talk about right now because I'm not sure exactly what is happening in Denmark. I'm not, uh, I can say so much that they're looking at, at changing the laws and different things and it, it become more and more and more, more difficult to advance the lives and do different things in Denmark. I want to say more later. I don't know so much about our future right now. I know the Jesus Center in Denmark, we have actually decided to close that down from August. So we, ha we have this school and there is a Lutin school running uh, and then we are closing down. That has to do with many other things also because it's, it's, it's expensive center and we have also felt God have talked to us about uh, doing it simple changing some things and, and, and do more mobile centers and do different things. And I want to do a whole video about that later. Uh, when I have just landed here, I want to do a whole video where I talk about the Jesus Center, why we are closing down. I'm going to share about some amazing dreams God had given to different people because God had really been speaking to different people to dreams. They all come together in this. So I can really see God's hand in it. Uh, and for us to come to America and Canada and we will also maybe come to Australia is, is in many ways a, a, a dream come true because I, in long time I wanted to do it. I'm, I don't want to be stuck on a center. I want to travel. I want to live the life uh, and I want to do things different. Um, and God has been speaking a lot about many things the last one and a half year. I actually started one and a half years and now because of the storm we are being pushed out in it a little faster than we expected. Uh, so right now what I can say is that we are in America right now. I'm Florida right now. We will stay in America a few months now on to beginning of April where we are going to Canada and then I don't know more. Where will we stay in America? I actually don't know. We are in Florida right now. I'm going to Dallas in a week to do a kickstart in Dallas. And then I don't know. We are here, my family and some suitcases. And that is our life right now here. Uh, the people are going good with the center at home. And there still is a school that is coming there. Uh, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm in America and... I will see what will happen. We know God wants us to work more in America. We are looking at different options to get some paperwork in order so we can stay here longer. Uh, on to then, maybe we should fly out and in. I actually don't know so much right now. Um, yeah. So that is the thing. Please pray for us as a family. Uh, it it has been really a storm to be in. Pray for the people at home still in Denmark at the Jesus Center. It's, it's crazy. It's like uh, almost like like end times persecution we are experienced there. Um, are we good? Uh, yeah, we are. It's hard. To be honest, it's really hard. Uh, something I haven't experienced before like this. I'm happy to be here now. I'm happy to to uh, see what God will do here. Um, I want to uh, do some meetings. I want to maybe set up a Kickstarter too the next month or two here in America. Maybe three Kickstarts. I don't know uh, yet how and when. We don't know where we are going to stay. We don't know what house, uh, if somebody have a house for us or somebody can help with that. We know nothing right now. Uh, so... Um, if some of you, of course, want to help us and support us and help us in this, we uh, we are open to hear for it. Um, yeah, so this is the thing we are in, in right now. Uh, we are good because I know God is there. I know he's working through it. God has been speaking with dreams and many, many, many words. And, and we feel it's time to really seek him uh, in a new way and uh, listen to his voice and do what he wants us to do. And I believe this is going to bring something beautiful for uh, in America. We were out walking a few days ago and I got recognized by somebody who came. Hey, my family have got changed through your teaching. And thank you. And America need this. And we have been praying for you. And now we see you here. And, and, and I really love, uh, meet a lot, a lot of people who are thankful for, for what is happening. So... Uh, I know we've been traveling around a little. I don't think we will stay one place in America for a long time. I think it would be like maybe in America and then Canada and then go to Australia a few months and then back and maybe Europe. 
we, we, we want to live this life. We want to, the time is short. Jesus is coming back. And it's time to really be serious in, in living the life led by the Holy Spirit and preach the gospel. And this is what we want to do. So uh, here we are. If you have some serious thing you would like to, if you know somebody who have a home, that is empty, we can stay in. Or if you want to help us with, with our home or, or there is some uh, kickstart that has been set up or or, or something that is very serious, then you are welcome to contact me, of course. Uh, otherwise, just pray for us and, and we will see what God is doing. And I will keep you updated as soon as I know more. Now we are just landing and, and figure out what is happening in Denmark and the rule, uh, yeah, all of that. Yeah, and I will do a video in a week or so uh, and keep you all updated. Uh, you're well, welcome to contact me if there is questions. God bless you all out there. Thank you for your prayer. God is faithful. And uh, we know that everything works for good for those who love him. And through this thing, something beautiful is going to be come out of it. We are sure of that. It's a new beginning also for America. Yeah, God bless you all. Bye-bye.